to speakers who have been leading the fight against austerity for years. Um, so I'd like to welcome Fred Hahn of QB Ontario and Robert Johnson of QB Local Uh, so my name is Fred Shilson. I'm the reporting secretary uh, for QP Local 79. I represent the city workers who are the city all across the city serving you because we actually care about our city. One of the major concerns we have is that with this change comes through, it's going to give people who actually live in this city, the residents who take their taxes, build this city up, they're going to have less access to their elected representatives. Shame. 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 We're already finding out that developers are clamoring for opportunities like this. Shame. When you have 25 wards and you have huge amounts of development coming in, you don't have enough staff to vet the applications. Shame. That means that those with money will have more access than those of us who actually live and work in this city. Shame. Shame. The other major problem we're going to have is that this is an ideological argument more than fact-based decision-making. We've seen with Ford what happens. We've seen it as he started to push through things. He was on the backroom deals with Toronto Hydro, which QP successfully pushed back. There's been two years of consultations that my members and members of the public have worked on. That's all gone. All gone because of the whim of one man who's very short-sighted and has zero vision. This is now the second time, and hopefully the third, that the City of Toronto has rejected Doug Ford. We need to keep it up. Now don't get it twisted. Toronto is a fantastic city with the best people who live here. What we need to do is make sure that we gather them all up, mobilize them, and have them speak to their elected representatives to say, Doug, you're lying. This is what's happening. This is why we need to keep standing up. QP Local 79 remains and always will be an ally to the people who live and work in this city. We're asking that you contact your city councillor, contact your local MPP, and let them know that we're not going to accept this any longer. We're going to continue to fight back.